Hello everyone, welcome. Piotr Fisner here. Peter, how are you doing guys? Oh, time to shave. Anyways, it's 18th of March 2023 and we've got an episode about building your spot welder. I'll show you uh, which one I bought, how much I paid first. Uh, you can judge yourself. Is it a great value after? Because I'll be using it um, among another you know, few months, so we will be able to test it. It's quite a simple construct um, like this. It's nothing too complicated. But let's go first to AliExpress. Let's see. Okay, that's the and that's my website. So here is um, here is this thingy. Yes. So how much did I pay for it? I paid for it fourteen pounds seventy, which is about twenty percent difference, probably from the dollars, American dollars. Uh, yeah, you get different, you know, varieties. I paid this uh, for the package I. I don't know what it is. Package I. I, 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 I. Okay, package I, this one. So full featured version with case. Okay, that's that's what I bought. Um, that that's the that's the thingy I bought. Uh, the rest were cheaper, of course, but they were not, you know, not uh, the version or the uh, complete version which I wanted. Yes, that's plus protective case. It's 20, you see, version 10, square spot weld pen, which for me to be true, you know, like, what's the difference, yes? So I said, well, because this one is only 14.91, no, uh, I paid even cheaper, look, I paid 14.70. So, you know, so I took this one, yes, really cheap, free shipping, 15 days, shop is called, Gaji, some Gaji. That's that's the name of the shop. So I've got package. Uh, where is this? Okay, so that's one. Um, that's one the lead acid battery. Uh, yes. Oh, I don't. I need to check it. I won't be connecting today. Uh, I will check, you know, with uh, my bench power supply if I can use it because I do believe I could use it. I'm not entirely sure. You can spot welding these. Um, 99 gears fine tuning, whatever. Yes. Uh, welder voltage display, foot switch interface. Well, I don't have a foot switch interface. Uh, which I could install, of course, but I, I never bothered with that. You've got six pieces, 1640 volt, yes. Uh, those, whatever they are, these MOSFETs. Yes, so most tube imported from Germany. Yes, okay. Oh, they, these are here written. You can you can read their specification and I'll zoom in. Okay, four N zero four R B or something. H D L one. Okay, so this not this one. Four N zero four R B. I think that's the ones. Okay, I'll check here as well. Let me light up the light. Yes, four N zero four R. B, I'd say, not 8, but B. But you can try to Google 8 as well because it's written in the way that I'm not 100% sure, so it would be 4N04R8. R for Romeo. Yes. Okay, anyways, um, let's go back to the to this. You've got a downshift, enter settings, upper upshift start, power negative, um, model aircraft battery inf interface here uh, output positive red foot switch interface here okay so uh, that's what it is anyways 
Oh, okay. I now now I know which which one it is. That's fine. Here is a barrel. Yes. I don't know how good these are. To be true, I've got no idea. I I've seen good comments. That's why I bought it because comments are important for me. So H I. So I've got this one. I've got this one. That's what what it came, and it's really simple to build. Actually, there there is not. You see, there is a bit of negative, but mainly it's it's a good one. Okay, let's switch to the camera. Hello. So the display has dots. That's what's important. Dots are where those button switches are. Yes. So you installed it. You just insert it. Make sure that pins are correct. Now the capacitor has the polarity and where this bar goes, this golden bar, it's a minus as you can see. And then you look at the installation holes over there, it's written as well, plus and minus. So you can go to buzzer the same. Buzzer has as well polarity and as well you can see where the plus is located. So you can't go wrong with that. This connector, yes, and it's fine this can fit only this way i don't believe i can fit it yeah it's not it's you can only fit it this way so you can't connect it otherwise now i'm going to uh, solder it okay i'll put it aside i screw it this way so only what i had to watch out because i wasn't sure if these can connect here so i made sure that nothing is connecting at this point maybe it can maybe it shouldn't so just be careful if you're planning to do it yourself uh, as well negative positive it's that's the input that's the output this side here so you get out red to this and i've placed this one a heat shrink you know on the tip it's looking like that without the heat shrink that's it uh, I'll use my hot air at the end maybe to heat it up so that it can melt and I'll just solder these ones and we can put some small current through all small current just put my 12 volt power supply that's 30 amps you know uh, and we can see if that will lit up and what we will see on the display okay so i will just solder everything and cut those two long pieces into like two three millimeters out from this so like one tenth of an inch yes and i'll add this one more here missing as well but as you see those stands i wanted to show you they are like that and then you get this set of acrylic of two pieces as well yes so uh how it goes this one is here okay so it goes like this because you've got buttons here to press you need to take out fill, uh, take out the film from it so you will have a clean uh, clean acrylic and then you use screws the screws are here included so it's not a problem easy peasy lemon squeezy and then this at the bottom you, you can use fan here as you see yes so yay that's awesome nailed it yes but if i need a fan i don't know i don't know how many batteries i'm going to do if i would do like a lot of batteries then probably you need a fan if you do one battery or two batteries maybe you don't need a fan to be true that's how i see it yes one spot weld two spot welds is, is okay be right back i'm going to solder it okay guys so if you plan to use this yellow connector it has really really big spots i've used 400 degrees and it didn't want to it was glue and sticking didn't want to go through i had to raise 20 to 24 volts which is a maximum for my um, 
T12 soldering iron station and uh, in idling it was taking about one amp so 24 watts less more depend how hot it was yes and that's fine the minute I touch it you know there wasn't enough I had to do 480 degrees so that it was taking up to 3 amps probably maybe a bit less 2 point something and that took it yes easily that wasn't a problem whatsoever yes spot on that but we're talking 70 watts yes about so i did finish that so just just that you know um it's all is solid yes only i need to finish those add this one and then put the rest of those thingies so yeah i i will pause again so that you will see after okay guys so i've cleaned i cut off the remainings here um i've cleaned it with ipa it's okay now everything is solid robust and so on so here those are now without this foot underneath so i can put screws on both sides now is the correct way and now all it left is to put this here and on the other side this one as well yes so that's that's all there is to be true and then it's using it yes so let me peel i can peel it off with my nails okay that's one side come on any time I don't see a side here like front left left right so I'll improvise I'll put those I got pH 2 pH 2 yeah pH 2 is fine that will do the trick okay and I'll continue to the second side I'll do the other side and I'll unpost you don't need to see me screwing some screws get it more firm only so that i don't have to come back and repeat the work okay be right back okay guys it's on i'm using my uh, 12 volts from my uh, i don't know if you can see it 12.5 is showing here i can't spot weld on it you know because we've got only 10 amps max but to prove the point that it is working it's fine 100 I can go to the less program 1 program 2 program 3 uh, I don't know what I'm doing so that will be second part I'll learn to use it and then I'll record another one so that's it for this video we see that it's working and we see that the build wasn't really long you see 13 minutes recording and so it's about 15 minutes probably to build it from scratch and that's it we will see how it will operate i'll record part two sometime in the future when i will spot weld quite a few of them but i need to find a battery because i can't uh, count on my power supply i don't know how many amps does it need and how well probably i need a battery i've got batteries so uh, probably i'll use one of them for for this job uh, but for now everything just remember to not touch anything over there because I don't know if you can touch if you can touch and you can let me know maybe it can touch itself but at, at this corner is easy to touch and then those bars of copper here as well it's easy to touch I was trying to make sure to not touch anything but if you think it's possible to touch I didn't follow the line so I don't, didn't know you know like the build of it perfectly but from what I see for one two batteries how I'm doing it's 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 a robust thing and if I will be doing more probably yes probably I would need to install the fan here and even in a close so the ventilation would be better because this is for the reason you know that the fan would be a must but for one two batteries will be fine though so Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. If you did like the video about it, please like and subs or subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye bye.